This poem is called Eventual Solitude Walking the National Mall. One. This time, when I walked to the Washington Monument, there stood around it a metal fence, like how earlier today we met again, but this time there was a fence around you. Later, I went to the World War II Memorial, and I perched on Washington's marker, facing the eastern states, and I watched the people come and go, and wondered whether they'd heard that in Connecticut, 27 had been killed. More, my friend added in a text, than Virginia Tech or Columbine. Two, how do we make sense of violence, of suffering, of waking nightmares? We build memorials. We carve granite and put up fountains and hope that somewhere in the relentless pounding of water against the past, we recall our own relentless pounding hearts and in doing so, awake. Nearby, a man is caroling, amid the terror, the incomprehensible, unfeeling loss. On a statue, it says, Americans came to liberate, not to conquer. That may be how we want to remember, but it is not true. No, we came to wake up. Three. This started as a love poem, and it still is, but now I am finding it hard to remember why I am here. You are chain-linked. You are cornered by the Potomac and the National Mall, but somehow it is me who is trapped. Maybe we are all trapped, caught in the snare of erosion, where history and time erase our edges. Then the war came. You and I read that late at night, awestruck by our humanity, loving the warmth in each other's bones. We stumbled along this same path, and two months later, 27 paths ended. Today, hundreds of people stand at this fountain and stare into their smartphones. But this is still a love poem. I am just thinking about eventual solitude. We actually arrived on Thursday, and on Friday was December 14th, which was the day that the shooting happened in Newtown, Connecticut. And I was walking along the, the mall, um, just like in the poem, when a friend texted me and told me that this had happened. And my mind was already on other things that had gone on during that day. But then the, the tragedy found its way into the poem also. And I'm, I'm really proud of it, because I've never been able to reflect on real events like that that quickly, And I think, and, and as, I mean, as, as well as, as I think I've done in that, in that poem. So I was really proud of that as a, as a uh, definitely like a maturity, like a step forward in maturity for me as a, as a writer.